So chemical reactions and equations, the important questions. So the first question, we need to balance a skeletal chemical equation, give reasons to justify the statement. So the skeletal chemical equations are unbalanced ones. So we need to balance the chemical equations because of the law of conservation of mass. So what is law of conservation of mass? So the matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. So whatever the mass of the reactants are there, the same amount of the mass, you should get it in the product that we call it as a law of conservation of mass. So therefore, we have to balance the chemical equation each and every reaction. Next question. Giving an example list two information which make a chemical equation more useful. So the first one, the physical state of the reaction must be mentioned. So what is the type of, what is meant by the physical state? Whether the reactants exist in a solid state or a liquid state or a gaseous state or in an aqueous mode. So aqueous means it's dissolved in the water. That we call it as an aqueous, a cube. So we need to give the physical state of the reactants. That is an important one. So 2H2, the hydrogen always exists in the gases at room temperature. We have to give, always mention at the room temperature. So the oxygen is also the gas at room temperature. So 2H2O is a liquid. So water is the liquid at room temperature. So it's a L. The condition in which the reaction takes place are written on the arrowhead. Okay. So now what is the condition is going on? So the 2H2 plus O2 gas gives 2H2 liquid, the burning. So this is the another important one we have. To, so by seeing this reaction, so we can able to identify what is the physical state of the reactants and what is the physical state of the product. So what type of reaction is going on? So these two are the important one in the chemical equation. Now consider the following chemical reaction. X plus barium chloride gives Y plus sodium chloride. Okay. So it's a Y precipitate. Uh, Identify X and the Y, okay, the type of the reaction and all, okay. So now the barium chloride, okay, so we are getting the Y. So it means that here they have mentioned that it is a sodium. So definitely the sodium will be there. So they have given the one clue that white precipitate. So the barium sulfate is all, always a white precipitate. So it must be a sodium sulfate. X should be a sodium sulfate. So, and the barium sulfate will be the Y because the barium sulfate, the Y is the white precipitate. Now, the reaction is a precipitation reaction. Why? Because the BaSO4 is present as a solid. Solid is nothing but it's getting precipitated. So, from the two solutions, so Na2SO4 is also the aqueous solution. Barium chloride is also the aqueous solution. So when the two aqueous solutions are mixing, we are getting one solid product. That is the uh, barium sulfate that we call it as a precipitation reaction. And also we call it as a double displacement. Double displacement means, so here Na2SO4 plus BaCl2. So here in the place of the sodium, the barium is coming. So BaSO4. In the place of the BA, NA is coming. So there are two displacements taking place. So we call it as a double displacement reaction. Then name the reducing agent in the following reaction. 3MnO2 plus 4Al gives 3Mn plus 2Al2. State which is more reactive, Mn or Al and why? Okay, so first we have to say that which one is the reducing agent. The reducing agent is nothing but the one which is undergoing the oxidation. So what does mean by oxidation? Addition of the oxygen. So in this case, the aluminium here, it's added with oxygen and it forms the Al2O3. So in this case, Al is the reducing agent. Then which one is more reactive, Mn or Al and why? Okay, so the more reactive in the sense, it will make the reaction forward direction. So the Al can able to displace the manganese. So it means that aluminium is more reactive than the manganese. So Al is more reactive. Write a balanced chemical equation for the process of the photosynthesis. 
So when do desert plants take up the carbon dioxide and perform the photosynthesis? Okay. So write a balanced equation. So what is a photosynthesis? Photo means it's light. So in the presence of the sunlight, the photosynthesis takes place. So the carbon dioxide, it will take up the carbon dioxide and plus the water, whatever we are uh, giving, right, the water. So that water and the carbon dioxide, which is present in the atmosphere, these two will react and it forms the glucose. C6H12O6, this we call it as glucose, plus 6O2. So oxygen gas, it will release. When do desert plants take up the carbon dioxide and perform? So in the desert plants, the tomato are open at night. So they will take the carbon dioxide at night and it is stored in the form of the acid and it is used during the daytime for the photosynthesis. Next one. Name the type of the chemical reaction represented by the following equation. So CaO plus H2O gives CaOH twice. So the two reactants are there and we are getting only one product. So this we call it as a combination reaction because we are combining the two reactants and we are getting only one product. This we call it as a combination reaction. Next one, 3BaCl2 plus Al2SO4 thrice gives 3BaSO4 plus 2AlCl3. So in this case, in the place of the barium, the Al is displaced. In the place of the aluminium, Ba is displaced. So we call it as a double displacement reaction. 2FeSO4 gives heat. It gives Fe2O3 plus SO2 plus SO3. Okay, so heat. So this we call it as a decomposition reaction. Decomposition means the one compound is decomposed to give the two or more products. That we call it as a decomposition. So in the presence of the heat means the thermal decomposition. Thermal means heat. So FeSO4 is break down into the three products here. So this we call it as decomposition reaction. So what is the difference between the decomposition and the combination means? In the decomposition, the reactant should be one. In the combination reaction, the product should be the one. Okay. Now... Write the chemical equation of the reaction in which the following changes have taken place with an example of each. Okay, change in color, change in temperature, formation of the precipitate. Cu solid reacts with the 2AgNO3 gives CuNO3 twice plus 2Ag. So the solution will become blue in color because the copper is the solid which is red in color actually so that is converted it into the blue color because the cu is converted into the cu plus two stage so the color is blue in color and the shiny silver metal will be deposited so the ag inventory is in aqueous solution actually it is colorless so that is converted it into the 2ag so ag is in the metallic state so in the metallic state it is a shiny silver color then naoh plus hcl gives nacl plus h2o plus heat so in this case naoh is a base hcl is an acid when the base reacts with the acid so the salt and the water is produced along with that we are getting some heat so actually this is the exothermic reaction because it releases the lot of heat the temperature will increase because the heat will be evolved this also we call it as the neutralization reaction then pbno3 twice plus 2ki gives pbi2 plus 2kno3 okay so now it is a yellow precipitate pbi2 is the yellow precipitate so when the two aqueous solutions are reacting, the lead iodide is deposited. So this we call it as a precipitation reaction. A low precipitate of PBI2 will be formed. State the type of the chemical reactions and the chemical equations that takes place in the following. The magnesium wire is burnt in air. Okay, the burnt in air. So the magnesium reacts with the oxygen which is present in the air. 2 mg plus O2 gives 2 mg O. So this we call it as a 
combination reaction because the two reactants reacted and we are getting only one product. So this we call it as combination. And also we call it as a redox reaction because in the Mg, the oxygen is added. So the Mg undergoes the oxidation, oxygen undergoes the reduction. Then the next one is electric current is passed through the water. So electric current is passed through the water. Okay. So now 2H2O. The electric current when you are passing through water, that we call it as electrolysis. So 2H2O electrolysis, it will decompose. Water decomposes to give the hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas. So this is the electrical decomposition reaction. Next one, ammonia under the hydrogen chloride gases are mixed. So the formula for the ammonia is NH3 plus hydrogen chloride gas. So HCl gas, both are in the gaseous state. So G and G gives NH4Cl. So it is a solid. So it's a combination reaction because the two reactants are reacted and we are getting only one product. So this we call it as a combination reaction. question. Write the essential condition for the following uh, reaction to take place. 2 AgBr gives 2 Ag plus Br2. Write one application for this reaction. Okay. So now 2 AgBr in the presence of the sunlight it will decompose us to get 2 Ag plus Br2. So this reaction is used in the photography. Complete the following chemical equation of a chemical reaction to FeSO4 in the presence of the heat Fe2O3 plus SO2 plus SO3. What happens when water is added to the quick lime? Write the chemical equation. The slack lime is formed with a hissing sound and a lot of heat is evolved. So actually you will be getting the CaCO3. No, CaO plus H2O gives CaOH twice. So that is the formula for the slacker line. Yeah. 2 gram of ferrous sulfate crystals are heated in a dry boiling tube. List any two observations. So 2 gram of the ferrous sulfate crystals. So the ferrous sulfate, the color is the green color. So when you are heating it, it will form the reddish brown solid. And the smell of the burning sulfur. So the sulfur is deposited. So we will get the burning sulfur in that. Then the next one is name the type of the chemical reaction in this. So FeSO4 when you are heating it, uh, the decomposition reaction because it is the solid is forming. So we call it as decomposition because when you are heating it, you will be uh, getting the one compound is decomposed to give the three products. So this we call it as a decomposition. So to write the chemical equation, so 2 FeSO4 gives Fe2O3 plus SO2 plus SO3. Define a balanced chemical equation. Why should an equation to be balanced? Yes, due to the, the law of conservation of the mass, the equation should be balanced. Write the balanced equation for the following reaction. The phosphorus burns in the presence of the chlorine to form the phosphorus pentachlorate. Penta means 5. Okay. So the phosphorus exists as the P4 solid plus 10 Cl2. It gives 4 PCl5 solid. Burning of the natural gas. So the natural gas is nothing but the methane. The formula for the methane is CH4. So burning means in the presence of the oxygen. So CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O plus heat energy. The process of respiration. So glucose plus oxygen. So C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus water gives C6CO2 plus 12H2O plus energy. Explain two ways by which the food industries prevent the rancidity. So rancidity is nothing but it's the it's spoilage of the food. So the rancidity can be prevented by adding the antioxidants to the food which contains the fat and the oil. 
So example, butylated hydroxy anisole is added to the butter which is used as an antioxidant. It can also be prevented by packaging fat and oil contains the foods in the nitrogen gas. Why? Because the nitrogen is the inert at room temperature. So they do not react with the oil or the fat. Discuss the importance of the decomposition reaction in metal industry with three points. Okay. So important uh, decomposition reaction. So the molten NaCl is electrically decomposed. You will get the sodium metal. The aluminium metal is obtained by electro electric decomposition of the bauxite ore. The bauxite, the formula for the bauxite is Al2O3. Then it is mixed with the cryolite. So why are we adding the cryolite to the bauxite is mixture is because it uh, lowers the melting point of the Al2O3 and also it increases the flow of ions in the electrolytic cell. The carbonate ores are thermally decomposed to give the metal oxide, which on reduction give the metal. Okay, so what is observed when the solution of the potassium iodide solution is added to the solution of the lead nitrate? Name the type of the reaction. Write the balanced chemical equation to represent the above chemical reaction. Okay, so the solution of the potassium iodide. So the Ki reacts with the PbNO3 twice lead nitrate. So we will get the lead iodide PbI2 plus 2KNO3. So we call it as a double displacement reaction because the in the place of the lead, the potassium is displaced. In the place of the potassium, the lead is displaced. So we call it as a double displacement reaction. Write the chemical equation reactions taking place when carried out with the help of iron reacts with the steam. Okay, so Fe reacts with H2O gives Fe3O4 plus H2. So we have to balance the equation. So here Fe3O4, so three iron are there. So we have to place the three in front of the Fe plus and also the four oxygen atom is there. So here also we have to place the four in front of the H2O. Then we have to balance the hydrogen. So four, four H2. The magnesium reacts with the dilute HCl. So Mg plus two HCl gives MgCl2 plus H2. Then copper is heated in the air. So copper is Cu plus O2 because in the air the oxygen will be react with the copper. Cu plus O2 gives CuO. So the CuO is the solid. Next one. All right, one example for each of the decomposition reaction carried out with the help of electricity, heat and the light. Okay, electricity. So we can uh, write the uh, electrolysis of the water. So 2H2O, when you are causing the electricity, we will be getting the H2 gas and the O2 gas. Heat. So CaCO3, so the decomposition of the calcium carbonate, we will get the CaO plus CO2. Light, so 2 AgBr gives sunlight in the, in the presence of the sunlight, the sodium, uh, sorry, uh, silver atom is deposited plus bromine vapor. Which of the following statement is correct and why copper can displace the silver from the silver nitrate and silver can displace copper from the copper sulfate solution? Okay. So the copper can able to displace the silver from the silver nitrate because the copper is more reactive than the silver in the reactivity series. So Cu plus 2 AgNO3 gives CuNO3 twice plus Ag. In the present, it is deposited, so it's a solid state. Which products will be obtained when lead nitrate is heated simply? So write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. State the type of the chemical reaction that occur in the change. So answer, the lead monoxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas will be liberated. So this we call it a thermal decomposition reaction because the one reactant we have taken in the presence of the heat it decomposes to the many products so pbno3 twice in the presence of the heat pbo it's a lead monoxide plus nitrogen dioxide no2 plus oxygen gas what is mean by the skeletal type chemical equation 
what does it represent using the equation for electrolytic decomposition of the water differentiate between differentiate between your skeletal equation and your balanced chemical equation so the equations in which the gaseous are written in atomic form instead of the molecular form the equation is not balanced that we call it as a skeletal type equation so they represent the gaseous elements formed in the atomic state and the equation is not balanced so h2o in the presence of the electrolysis it gives h plus o so this we call it as a skeletal equation just we are writing water h plus o so now the hydrogen and oxygen we have to write in the atomic form and the equation is not balanced so now h2o gives h2 plus o2 so this is also the skeletal equation because it is not balanced because only the hydrogen is balanced here it is h2 and here it is h2 but here it is only one oxygen atom here it is a two oxygen atom so the oxygen is not balanced so we have to balance the equation by placing the two in front of the h2o so 2h2o gives 2h2 plus o2 so this is the balanced chemical equation write balanced chemical equation for the following reactions silver bromide on exposure to light decomposes into the silver and the bromine so silver bromide the formula for the silver bromide is agbr in the presence of the sunlight it decomposes to give 2ag plus br2 gas sodium metal reacts with water to form the sodium hydroxide and the hydrogen gas sodium metal so na so it's a metallic state so it exists as a solid state plus 2h2o is a liquid so when it reacts it forms the naoh it is a aqueous plus h2 gas So identify the type of the reaction in the following equations. So CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus H2. So this is we call it as a combustion reaction and also we call it as oxidation reaction because the addition of oxygen takes place in the reaction. PbNO3 twice plus 2Ki gives PbI2 plus 2KnO3. So this we call it as a double displacement reaction because the Pb is displaced by the potassium and also the potassium is displaced by the Pb. So there are two displacement takes place. This we call it as a double displacement reaction. And also the PbI2 is get deposited. So we call it as a uh, precipitation reaction. C O plus H2O gives CaOH twice. This we call it as a combination because the two reactants are reacting and we are getting only one product. CuSO4 plus Zn gives ZnSO4 plus Cu. So this we call it as a single displacement reaction because only in the place of the copper, the zinc is displaced. So only one metal is displaced. So we call it as a single displacement reaction. Write the balanced equation for the reaction between magnesium and the hydrochloric acid. Name the product obtained. Identify the type of the reaction. Okay. The reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Mg solid state plus 2 HCl. It gives MgCl2 plus H2 gas. So the product formed is the magnesium chloride and the hydrogen gas. So this is, we call it as a displacement reaction. In the place of the hydrogen, the metal is displaced. So this we call it as single displacement reaction. Describe an activity to observe what happens when quick lime is added to water taken in a beaker. State two important observations and the name of the reaction takes place. Okay. So now uh, quick lime is added to the water. So the quick lime is added to the water in the beaker. Materials required is calcium oxide, the water and the beaker. Okay. So now the procedure. So take uh, 5 gram of the calcium oxide in a beaker and we have to add the water slowly and we have to touch the beaker. Note down the observations. So observation is the calcium oxide will definitely react with the water. So, and it forms a calcium hydroxide with the evolution of the heat. So, we can able to feel the heat which is released from the reaction. So, CaO is the solid. When we are adding the H2O, it's a liquid. 
it forms the CaOH twice aqueous plus H2O. Why we call it as aqueous means because it is it soluble in the water. Conclusion. So the reaction between the CaO and the H2O is a combination reaction and also we call it as an exothermic process because the heat is evolved in this reaction. What is the color of the ferrous sulfate crystals? How does this color change after heating? Okay. The color of the ferrous sulfate is pale green. So the color changes to the reddish brown on heating due to the formation of the iron 3 oxide. Give an example each for the thermal decomposition and the photochemical decomposition reactions. Write relevant balanced chemical equations. So thermal decomposition reaction. So CuCO3 in the solid state. When you are supplying the heat, it will decompose to the CuO plus CO2 gas. Then the photochemical reaction to AgCl in the presence of the sunlight. So it uh, gives 2 Ag solid state plus Cl2 gas. Why does the color of the copper sulfate solution change when an iron nail is dipped in it? Write the two observations. Okay. So we call it as a displacement reaction because we have to see the equation first. Fe plus CuSO4 gives FeSO4 plus Cu. Okay. So now this is the iron nail Fe. So when you are dipping it in the copper sulfate solution, so what's happening in the place of the copper, the iron is displaced. So Fe SO4 plus copper. So copper is, is becoming a solid state, it's becoming a metallic copper. Okay. So the iron displaces the copper from the copper sulfate solution and it forms the pale green colored solution of the FeSO4. And also the color of the copper is reddish brown that gets deposited. Translate the following statement into the chemical equation and then balance it. Barium chloride reacts with the aluminum sulfate to give the aluminum chloride and the precipitate of the barium sulfate. State the two types in which the reaction can be classified. So barium chloride, BaCl2 plus Al2SO4 primes gives BaSO4 plus AlCl3. So this also we call it as a double displacement reaction as well as the precipitation reaction because so it's a barium is also displaced by aluminum and the aluminum is also displaced by the barium. So we call it as double displacement. So the barium sulfate is getting precipitated. It becomes a solid. So this we call it as a precipitation reaction. Why are decomposition reactions called the opposite of the combination reactions? Write the equation for these reactions. So in the decomposition reaction, your compound is broken down into the simpler compounds or the elements. So for example, copper carbonate, when you are heating, will get the copper oxide, that is a solid state, plus CO2 gas. So the combination reaction is a reaction in which two or more elements or the compounds combines to form the new compound. Say for example, N2 plus 3H2 and it gives the 2NH3. So thus the decomposition and the combination reactions are opposite to each other. So the following diagram displaces the chemical reaction. Observe carefully and answer the following questions. Okay, so the light is sunlight is there and we are having the silver chloride. Okay. So now identify the type of the chemical reaction that takes place and define it. How will the color of the salt change? Write the chemical equation of the reaction takes place. Mention one commercial use of this salt. Okay. So in the presence of the sunlight, the reaction takes place. So we call it as a photochemical decomposition reaction. So in this reaction, the compound, the compound is nothing but the silver chloride. We call it as a compound which break down into the simple substances in the presence of the sunlight, we call it as a photochemical decomposition reaction. So the color of the salt will change from white to gray because the uh, silver, the color of the silver is gray. So 2 AgCl solid in the presence of the sunlight, it decomposes to the 2 Ag plus Cl2 gas. So the uses of the silver chloride is used in the photographic. What is rancidity? Mention any two ways by which the rancidity can be prevented. So the rancidity is nothing but in which 
the taste and the smell of the food gets spoiled. So it happens due to the oxidation. So how we can able to prevent that one is by adding the antioxidants that can able to prevent the oxidation. That's why the chips packets are packed with the presence of the nitrogen gas because the nitrogen is inert at room temperature because it's having a triple bond between the two nitrogen atoms. So it needs a lot amount of the energy to break the bond. And also the food should be kept in the airtight container in the refrigerator because in the refrigerator, the temperature is very low. So the, it can, the reaction cannot take place very fast in that very low temperature. Write the balanced chemical equation for the reactions takes place during the respiration. Identify the type of the chemical uh, combination reaction that takes place during this process and justify the name. Give one more example of this types of reaction. Okay. So C6H12O6 plus oxygen, it gives 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus heat. So it is an exothermic reaction because the heat is evolved in the reaction. And then the say the another example is the burning of the natural gas CH4 plus oxygen gives CO2 plus H2O. So the combustion of the methane is also the exothermic reaction. What is the redox reaction? Identify the substance oxidized and the substance reduced in the following reactions. Okay. So the what is redox reactions? Redox means redox and the oxidation, reduction and the oxidation. Both processes takes place in the single reaction. Call it as a redox reaction. So the first equation, 2PbO plus carbon gives 2Pb plus CO2. Okay. So in the first case, the Pb is having the oxygen. So here it converts to the Pb. So the loss of the oxygen takes place. So it means that it is undergoing the reduction. PBO is reduced and the carbon is huh, here the carbon and it's the addition of the oxygen takes place with the carbon. So uh, carbon is oxidized. MnO2 plus 4HCl gives MnCl2 plus 2H2O plus Cl2. So in this case, the MnO2 is converted into the MnCl2. So the loss of the oxygen takes place. So MnO2 is reduced. And the hydrogen HCl is converted to the H2O. So the addition of oxygen takes place. So the HCl is undergoing oxidation. Write the balanced chemical equations for the following reactions and identify the type of the reaction in each case. Thermite reaction. Iron 3 oxide reacts with the aluminium and gives the molten iron and the aluminium oxide. So iron 3 oxide Fe2O3 solid plus 2 Al gives Al2O3 plus Fe plus heat. So it is a displacement reaction because aluminium is displacing the iron from Fe2O3. And also the molten iron is used for repairing the broken railway tracks. A solution of the potassium chloride when mixed with the silver nitrate solution an insoluble white substance is formed. Write the chemical reaction involved and also the mention the type of the chemical reaction. Okay, so potassium chloride, the formula is KCl plus silver nitrate AgNO3. So it forms the AgCl plus KNO3. So the AgCl becomes a solid. So it's a precipitation reaction and also we call it as a double displacement reactions because the both the metals are get displaced. State one basic difference between the physical change and a chemical change. In the physical change, there are no new substances formed, whereas in a chemical change, the new substances are formed. What is meant by the chemical reaction? So the reaction representing the chemical change, we call it as a chemical reaction. AgNO3 aqueous plus NaCl aqueous gives AgCl solid plus NaNO3 aqueous. Okay, so FeS plus H2SO4 gives FeSO4 plus H2S gas. Okay. So consider the above mentioned two equations with the two different of the arrows along with the product. What do these two different arrows indicate? Okay, so in this the first reaction, the arrow mark which is facing the downward direction so that we call it as it becomes a solid. Because whenever the solid is formed, that gets deposited at the bottom. That's when we are showing the arrow in the downward 
direction and the gas whenever the gas is produced in the reaction it's just moving in the upward direction that's why the arrow mark we are showing in the upward so h2s is a gas agcl is a solid hydrogen being a highly in inflammable gas and oxygen being a supporter of the combustion at water which is a compound made up of the hydrogen and the oxygen is used to extinguish the fire why okay it is because the property of the compound h2o are different from the properties of the constituent elements h2 and the o2 because the chemical reaction takes place between the oxygen and the hydrogen using a suitable chemical equation justify that some chemical reactions are determined by change in color and change in temperature okay so pbno3 twice plus 2 ki gives pbi2 plus 2 kno3 so in this case the pbno3 is also it's a colorless one and ki is also the colorless when these two colorless solutions are mixed we are getting one colored precipitate that is yellow precipitate of pbi2 so the change in color takes place then the change in temperature so when we are adding the ca water to the cao so we'll get the cao h2 as a slacker line along with that lot amount of the heat so it becomes a exothermic reaction because the heat is evolved a solution of the substance x is used for white washing what is the substance x say the chemical reaction of x with the water okay so now the x is nothing but the calcium oxide that is used for the white washing so when you are adding the water to it it forms the caoh twice plus heat why does the color of the copper sulfate solution change when an iron nail is dipped in it okay so the iron is having fe plus cuso4 gives feso4 plus cu so the color of the the color of the copper sulfate is blue in color so it is converted into the pale green so the pale green is for the feso4 balance the following chemical equations okay so the bacl2 plus h2so4 gives baso4 plus hcl okay so now in this case we are having a 2cl so we have to write the 2 in front of the hcl so 2 hcl so when you are writing like this this hydrogen is also get balanced because here it is h2 here also it is a 2h so both sides the atoms are balanced caoh2 plus hno3 gives cano3 twice plus h2o okay so in this side the no3 is only one but in the product side we are having no3 twice so we have to place the two in front of the hno3 so caoh twice plus 2 hno3 gives cano3 twice plus 2 h2o so when you are placing the two here, here it is a oh twice is there there are two oh but this side we are having only one h2o so the hydrogen is not balanced because here it is a two hydrogen and here it is a two hydrogen two hydrogen two hydrogen so we have to write two h2o then it becomes the four hydrogen pbno3 twice gives pbo plus no2 plus o2 okay so now in this case here the no3 twice it means that there are the two nitrogen here so we have to place the two in front of the no2 okay then uh when you are placing the two here um mm, then we have to balance the oxygen so here it is a six oxygen atoms are here so here it is two and here it is uh, when you are placing the two here it becomes the four six and seven okay so it becomes the odd number so we have to convert it into the even number by placing the two in front of the reactants so 2 pb no3 twice gives so here it is a 2 pb or there so we have to place the two in front of the pbo so 2 pbo now the lead is balanced then we are having a no3 twice already it is a two nitrogen so the two we are writing in front of that so it becomes the four nitrogen so we have to write four no2 now we have to check the oxygen so here it is a 
6 times 2, it's 12. So here, 2 oxygen, and here it is 8, and here it is 2. So totally 12 oxygen. So it is balanced. MnO2 plus HCl gives MnCl2 plus H2O plus Cl2. So now here, uh, Cl2, there are two chlorine atoms are here. So we have to place the two in front of the HCl. So now when you are placing the two here, then uh, here it is one more chlorine, two chlorine are there. So totally four. Then we have to place the four HCl here. So MnO2 plus 4 HCl gives MnCl2 plus H2O plus Cl2. Then when we are placing the 4 here, it becomes the 4 hydrogen in the uh, reactant side. So we have to balance this one. So we have to place the 2 in front of the H2O. So 2 H2O plus Cl2. Write the balanced equation for the following reaction and identify the type of the reaction in each case. Potassium bromide plus barium iodide gives potassium iodide plus barium bromide. So potassium bromide is KBr plus barium iodide is BaI2 gives potassium iodide is Ki plus barium bromide is BaBr2. Okay. So now here BaBr2. So the bromine, two bromine atoms are here. So we have to place the two in front of this. So the two potassium atoms are here. So we have to place the two in front of here. So now atoms are balanced. 2K and the 2K here. And 2Br and Br, 2Br here. And 1Ba and 1Ba. And I2 and here also 2I. Hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrogen chloride. So hydrogen, the form is a diatomic gas. So H2. Chlorine is also the diatomic gas. It's a Cl2. It gives HCl. So here it is a two hydrogen and the two chlorine. So we have to balance the hydrogen and chlorine by placing the two in front of the HCl. A zinc plate was put into the solution of the copper sulfate kept in a glass container. It was found that the blue color of the solution gets fader and fader with the passage of the time. After the few days, when the zinc plate was taken out of the solution, a number of the holes were observed on it. State the reason for changes observed on the zinc plate. Write the chemical equation for the reaction observed. So why? Because the zinc has displaced copper from the copper sulfate. Because the zinc is more reactive than the copper, so it gets displaced. So the reaction is Zn plus CuSO4 gives ZnSO4 plus copper. So actually the color of the copper sulfate is blue in color. So once the copper is displaced by the zinc, so the color is getting fade and it becomes the colorless solution. Your white salt on heating decomposes to give the brown fumes and your residue is left behind. Okay, name the salt, write the equation for the decomposition reaction. So the white salt, so the lead nitrate is a white salt. Okay, so the formula for the lead nitrate is PbNO3 twice. So when we are heating it, we will get the brown fumes that is NO2 gas. So the nitrogen dioxide will give the brown color fumes. And also it is a decomposition reaction because it the PbO solid is deposited. When a solution of the potassium iodide is added to the solution of the lead nitrate in a test tube, a reaction takes place. Okay. So now, uh, what is the type of this reaction? Write a balanced equation. Okay, the type of the reaction is the uh, double displacement as well as the precipitation reactions because the lead and the potassium are displaced. And also it is a decompo uh, decomp sorry, the precipitation reaction because um, the PbI2 is a solid which occurs as a yellow color precipitate. Different combination reaction. Given one example of the combination reaction which is also the exothermic. Combination reaction is nothing but when the two elements or the compounds which combines together and it forms the single product that we call it as combination reaction. So example CaO combines with the water and it forms the CaOH twice along with that it produces the heat. So 
तो when the reaction is produced in the heat, we call it as a exothermic reaction. Classify the following reactions into the different types. Okay, AgNO3 plus NaCl gives AgCl plus NaNO3. So here the solid is de deposited. So this reaction we call it as a precipitation reaction. And also the both of the metals or get displaced. So also we call it as a double displacement reaction. CaO plus H2 gives CaOH twice. So this is we call it as a combination reaction. 2KClO3 potassium chlorate gives KCl plus O2. So in the presence of the heat. So we call it as a thermal decomposition reaction. Which of the above reaction is or the precipitation reactions? Why the reaction we call it as precipitation? Because the solid, one of the product will be a solid that we call it as a precipitation reaction. Write the balanced equation for the following, mentioning the type of the reaction in bold. Aluminium plus bromine gives aluminium bromide. So Al plus Br2 gives AlBr3. Then calcium carbonate gives calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Calcium carbonate is CaCO3 gives calcium oxide is CaO plus CO2. Silver chloride gives silver plus chlorine. So 2 AgCl in the presence of the sunlight gives 2 Ag plus Cl2 gas. Why is respiration considered as an exothermic reaction? Define the terms oxidation and the reduction. Identify the substance that is oxidized and reduced in the following reaction. CuO plus Zn gives Cu plus ZnO. So what is the respiration? Why the respiration is an exothermic? Because the heat is evolved when the reaction occurs. That we call it as exothermic reaction. So the oxidation is nothing but uh, the addition of oxygen or the removal of the uh, hydrogen that we call it as an oxidation. So reduction means addition of hydrogen or the removal of the oxygen. So that we call it as a reduction. Identify the substance that is oxidized. So in this reaction, the copper is having the oxygen that is converted into the copper. So the copper oxide loses the oxygen. So copper oxide undergoes the reduction. Zinc is converted into the zinc oxide. So the addition of oxygen takes place. So the zinc is undergoing the oxidation. What is meant by the precipitation reaction, exothermic reaction, oxidation reaction? Write the balance of the chemical equation. So the precipitation reaction is nothing but when the two aqueous solution reacts and the one of the product will get a solid state that we call it as a precipitation reaction. Example, AgNO3 reacts with the potassium iodide and it forms the AgI solid plus KNO3. Exothermic reaction. So the carbon reacts with the oxygen and it forms the carbon dioxide. Along with that, it produces the heat. So it is an exothermic reaction. Oxidation reaction. So Cu plus oxygen gives CuO. Addition of oxygen in the reaction, we call it as an oxidation reaction. You might have noted that copper powder is heated in the china dish. The surface of the copper powder becomes coated with a black color substance. So how has this black color substance formed? What is that black substance? Write the chemical equation for the reaction takes place. Okay. When the copper powder we are heating up in the air, so definitely the oxygen is reacting it with the copper. So the reaction will be Cu plus O2 gives CuO. Okay. So now the, co the color of the copper oxide is black in color. So the name of the oxide is CuO. What happens chemically when quick lime is added to the water filled in a bucket? Okay, so the quick lime is nothing but the CaO which reacts with the water and it forms the CaOH twice plus heat plus hissing sound. Because the heat is evolving. Right, so that's where you get the sound. On what basis is a chemical equation balanced? So the chemical equation is balanced on the basis of the law of conservation of the mass. What change of uh, in color is observed when silver chloride is left exposed to the light? State the type of the chemical reaction in this change. So 
So the silver chloride becomes a gray, gray because the metallic silver is get deposited. It is a photochemical decomposition reaction because this reaction takes place in the presence of the sunlight. Write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction between the sodium chloride and the silver nitrate indicating the physical state of the reactants and the products. So the reaction sodium chloride that is NaCl plus AgNO3 so you'll get the AgCl solid plus NaNO3 aqueous. So the solid, the silver chloride is gets deposited. So this also we call it as a double displacement reaction. So what happens when an aqueous solution of sodium sulfate reacts with an aqueous solution of the barium chloride? State the physical conditions of the reactants in which the reaction between them will not take place. Write the balanced chemical reaction for the reaction and the name the type of the reaction. So the barium chloride BaCl2 which is reacts with the sodium sulfate forms the barium sulfate plus NaCl. So here the solid substances from the white precipitate gets deposited. So the two metals are getting displaced. So we call it as a double displacement as well as the barium sulfate is precipitated. So we call it as a precipitation reaction. What is the redox reaction? When a magnesium ribbon burns in air with a dazzling flame and forms a white ash, is magnesium oxidized or reduced? Why? The redox reaction is nothing but the um, oxidation and the reduction takes place in the single reaction. We call it as a redox reaction. So the magnesium reacts with oxygen, forms the magnesium oxide. So in this case, the addition of oxygen takes place in the magnesium. So the magnesium is oxidized and the oxygen is reduced. Write any two observations in an activity. So which may suggest that a chemical reaction has taken place. Give an example in support of your answer. Okay. So any two of these observations will suggest a chemical reaction has taken place. Either the change in state or change in color or from the evolution of the gas when the reaction takes place or the change in temperature. Either it, the heat is evolved or the heat might be taken from the surroundings. Example, lead nitrate, when you are heating it, it will convert it into the lead oxide plus NO2 plus O2. So the white, this lead nitrate is white in color. When you are heating it, it is converted into the yellowish brown solid. So the brown gas is evolved. When the powder of the common metal is heated in an open china dish, its color turns black. However, when the hydrogen is poured over the hot black substance, so formed, it's regain its original color. So based on the above information, answer the following questions. Okay. So what type of chemical reactions takes place in each of the two given steps? Name the metal initially taken in the powder form. Write the balanced chemical equations. So in the first step, oxidation takes place. In the second step, the redox reaction takes place. So the metal in the powder form is the copper. So the copper reacts with the oxygen and it forms the copper oxide. It's a solid one. So it's a black in color. So when we are causing the hydrogen gas, it re so the uh, copper oxide is a uh, copper oxide is reduced to the copper it's in a metallic state and the h2 is oxidized it becomes a h2 in electrolysis of the water why is the volume of the gas collected over one electrode double that of the gas collected over the other electrode so because the water contains the hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 2 is to 1 so balance the following chemical equations. PbNO3 twice gives PbO plus NO2 plus O2. So we have to balance the equations. So here uh, NO3 twice. So we have to place the two in front of the two PbNO3. So it becomes the two Pb. So we have to place the two in front of the PbO, two PbO. And the nitrogen is, so here, it is a two nitrogen and also here is two is there. So totally four nitrogen atoms are there. We have to place the four in front of the NO2. Then the oxygen we have to check it out. Six and the 12. So here it is a two and here it is a eight. Already it is a two. So totally 12 oxygen atoms are there. That's the equation balanced. 
Name the products formed on strongly heating the ferrous sulfate crystals. What type of chemical reaction occurs in this change? So 2FeSO4 is heated. So it will convert it into the iron oxide, iron 3 oxide plus SO2 plus SO3. So it is a decomposition reaction because one compound is decomposed to give the different products. What is an oxidation reaction? Give an example of the oxidation reaction. Is oxidation an exothermic or an endothermic reaction? So the reaction in which the oxygen or the removal of the hydrogen, we call it as an oxidation reaction. So the Fe2 and also we call it as the oil oxidation means the loss of electrons. So the Fe2 plus losing one electron and it becomes the Fe3 plus. So C plus O2 gives CO2. In this case, the carbon is converted into the carbon dioxide. So the addition of the oxygen takes place in the carbon. So this is also the oxidation reaction. Okay, now next one is. So distinguish between a displacement reaction and the double displacement reaction. Identify the displacement and the double displacement reaction from the following reactions. So HCl plus NaOH gives NaCl plus H2O. Fe plus CuSO4 gives FeSO, FeSO4 plus Cu. Okay, so the displacement reaction means in which one more uh, reactive metal can displace the less reactive metal from its salt solution. So here, this we call it as a double displacement because in the place of the hydrogen, the Na is there. In the place of the sodium, hydrogen is there. So this is the double displacement reaction. So the second one is the single displacement reaction because here the reactive metal is reacting and it is taking the place of the copper. So it becomes the FeSO4 plus the copper metal is deposited. When you have mixed the solutions of lead to nitrate and the potassium iodide, what was the color of the precipitate form? And can you name the precipitate? Write the balanced equation. And also, this is a double displacement reaction. Okay. So when we are mixing the lead nitrate, that is PbNO3 twice, plus potassium iodide, we will be getting the lead iodide plus KNO3. So this is precipitation reaction because the PbI2 is become a solid product. And also it is a double displacement reaction because the two metals are get displaced. That's why it is a double displacement reaction. What do you mean by the exothermic and the endothermic reaction? Give example. So exothermic reaction means which releases the heat during the reaction. Say for example, carbon reacts with oxygen gives the carbon dioxide plus heat. So heat is also coming along with the carbon dioxide. CH4, methane, reacts with the 2O2 oxygen gives CO2 plus H2O plus heat. So along with that, in the reaction, along with the products, we are getting the heat. So this is also the example of the exothermic reaction. Endothermic reaction means which will absorb the heat and the reaction will take place. See, for example, calcium carbonate, when we are supplying the heat, CaO plus CO2, yes. Then N2 plus O2, in the presence of the heat, it is converted it into the 2NO gas.